A heavyweight fight here. We got Kevin Zaflarski sitting at minus 105 against Kyle Machado sits at minus 135. Uh, let's see. It's seven and one and one for Kyle Machado. Eleven and one for Kevin Zaflarski. Five and zero in his last five. Tall man in Zaflarski, six foot six, eighty one and a half inch reach. Six foot four for Kyle Machado. Uh, the Polish man, Kevin Zaflarski, was supposed to fight last year on the Contender Series. He was supposed to fight Jimmy Lawson. Uh, he had to withdraw, and now he's getting a shot in Week One. He hasn't fought since then. So his last fight was in May of twenty twenty two. And he hasn't lost since his his uh, professional debut, so he's on an 11-fight win streak. There's not a lot of film out there because he's been fighting on the Polish regionals, and there's just you just can't really get that kind of film. Um, but in the fights that I did was able to watch, I wasn't like super impressed, but they were fights from like three years ago. For Kyle Machado, um, he's Brazilian, but he he lives in Canada, and he fights on the Canadian regional scene. And if you look at two of his wins, they're to this guy named Lee Maine, who is 56 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he holds a record of 12 and 17. Uh, if, you mean, <laughs> if you watch the guy uh, in his fights, like he's not terrible, but I mean, he's 56 years old. And like Kyle Machado should definitely get the win there. He's gotten uh, two of his finishes against Lee Maine. He's gotten back-to-back -back wins by armbar. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the jiu-jitsu is looking pretty good. Those are his only two wins by sub, but they're his last two wins. Uh, Machado, 29 years of age. In this one, this is like greasy heavyweights to me, and they're kind of pricing it around the same aspect of that. So, I'm not really sure. What are you thinking? Dude, you know, it's crazy because both these guys are big dudes. They're heavyweights, but... Um, you don't usually see weird submissions at the heavyweight division. Like you just said, back-to-back -back arm bars. Um, Zaflarski's got a, a, a north and south choke on his record. Heel hook, uh, triangle choke at heavyweight. Like that's some crazy shit for big dudes. Yeah. Um, I think Machado, he comes out hot. Like he's going to come out and throw what he's got at you in the first round. He is powerful. He lands some big shots. Um, and if he does connect, he could definitely put dudes out. And uh, I have noticed, too, if he can't get that finish right away, he's going to throw strikes and then immediately clinch, get in the clinch, and from there he'll explode into a double leg or, or grab a leg and try to get it down and almost overpower the guys he's fought because um, he is strong. He's a strong dude. He's pretty athletic, too, for a heavyweight. And, you know, his, his jiu-jitsu is good. I mean, you mentioned the two arm bars. That's you got to be slick if you're that big pulling that off. So he will submit, guys. I do worry that he burns too hot, though. And uses a ton of energy, especially early in the fight. Um, so that gas tank, tank is going to be a question mark. And um, for Zaflarski, I had in my notes, if he just survives the onslaught early, he'll give himself like a decent chance here as a dog. He's got good boxing. Um, he's got a pretty decent jab. He reminds me of the um, Larkin dude, that, that or Parkin, Nick, Nick Parkin, who fought yeah. not long ago in London. Like with that jab, like nothing crazy on the feet, just technical. Um, and he'll kind of engage in the clinch as well. And it's more to just make the fight dirty and just use his body weight to wear on you. Cause he's a big dude. Yeah. Um, and he's a really big dude and he's not like built athletically or anything. So he's a lot of weight to carry around. So when he gets in that clinch, he, he's, he's heavy. He doesn't really go for takedowns from the clinch. Um, but you know, if the fight does go to the ground and he can get on top, he's got good submissions as well. I, I listed off the heel hook, um, the North South choke. He's got triangles. Um, just a different variety of subs. And he's like I said, he's strong and big. So if he tires out Machado, he'll make it really interesting. So I think if you're playing this betting wise, you take Machado round one finish and live bet it after that. So yeah, I'm gonna pick for my pick. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with Machado, man. Uh, just looking at the build, looking at the on the feet, he's just got more to offer, I think. So yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really impressed with either guy watching the yeah. film, uh, but Zaflarski, the fights that I was able to watch, I was like really not impressed, but it is again, it was like three years ago. Uh, but he does have pictures with John Jones on his Instagram. So it looks like he got some training in back in the day when uh, John Jones was, uh, you know, active at Jackson wink. So I'm going to take him for the pick, uh, but I, I wouldn't get too invested in this fight either way.